Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to share my top 10 tips and tricks for the S Pen on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. These are features I use on a daily basis, and I want to share the way I use my Note 8 with you in case it might enhance your ownership. So let's dive in and discover. Also, if you're wondering what case I'm using for my Samsung Galaxy Note 8, you will find a link in the description box below to check it out. All right, the first thing I want to talk about is the Air Command menu. Now, I'm not going to go over every single feature in the Air Command menu, but I'm going to go over the things that I use on a daily basis. So the first thing I want to talk about is the uh, Smart Select feature and the way I use it. Basically, Smart Select allows you to select any portion of the screen and save it as a screenshot. What I do like here is you have the rectangular tool, so you can actually select it as a rectangle if you wanted to, or you can actually go back using this menu here, you can do a lasso selection. Lasso means you can select in any shape or form that you please. Okay, so that'll give you uh, some really nice detailed way to work with taking screenshots. Now, if you go back here, you also have this oval shape here, so you can take an oval screenshot of anything on the screen. It doesn't have to be the home screen. You can be anywhere uh, on the web in an app, and you can do this. And of course, right after you do something like this, you have a bunch of options at the bottom. Uh, you can enable Bixby Vision to look through this photo to see if it can find anything on the web relating to this photo, or you can draw on the photo. You can share that photo immediately with anybody uh, via any of these options over here. And if you go back here, uh, you can also save this exact photo into your gallery in this format. Uh, it's going to be circular. So you can use this even as an avatar if you want to somewhere else. Now that's the basics of the Smart Select, but there's more things you can do with Smart Select that you may not be aware of. So let's get out of here for a minute. And uh, let me just bring up an image over here, a quote from somebody from Bertrand Russell. And again, I'm going to bring up the Smart Select. I'm going to say Smart Select. And what I want to do is, let's say you find an image and you want to extract the text within that image. All you do is you select that text just like that. And of course, the program knows that you are actually selecting a text and it gives you the option to extract the text from the photo that you just highlighted with your S Pen. So if you tap the extracted text, it's going to actually extract it right here. Uh, sometimes it may not be 100% perfect, but you can always go and edit that. So basically what I can do is, uh, as you can see, that quote was extracted right here along with the, uh, the author, which is at the bottom. And it even puts everything on the same line. So the time you enjoy is on one line down here, as you can see. So when you're ready, you can just copy this if you want. So it gets copied to the clipboard and you can paste it somewhere else. Or you can share that again with anybody that you please uh, using the share button, which is fantastic. Okay, so that's the two ways I use Smart Select all the time. I just select stuff, share them with people, or I extract text from images from quotes I see on the internet. Of course, there's more uses to it, but you can now uh, guess what other ways you can use the extracted text feature. Now, finally, uh, one more thing with the Smart Select is the pin to the screen feature. So if I tap this guy here and I select anything on the screen, Let's just select our face one more time. What I could do is I can pin this to the screen. Now, the only thing is to pin this to the screen, you have to use the rectangular tool. So if you use the rectangular tool here and you select our face, you will get a third option on the top that says pin to screen. And this is in fact great for research purposes. So I can pin this right over here. It's gonna be on the screen. You can put it anywhere and you can continue doing your research uh, as you're referencing that image, that text, that file, or whatever you have pinned to the screen. So those are the three ways I use Smart Select on a daily basis. Now let's move on. I can tap on this, by the way, when I'm, when I'm done with this. Uh, I can even make this larger. I can, uh, as you can see, I can minimize it. I can save it, or I can just X out of it. Okay, just tap on that. Now, if you go back into the Air Command menu, the other thing I use is Screen Write. So Screen Write is pretty fantastic. It takes a quick screenshot of anything that you're focused on, and then it goes around and, in fact, allows you to write on the actual screenshot. So here's how I use this option. Just one example on how I do it. So let me launch the Maps application real quick. Uh, it should be right here. And let's say that I want to share a location with my friend. So this is New York over here. Let's say that we're going to be meeting up with somebody somewhere around this area. 
what I can do is I can do a quick screen write. So I can tap this, I can click screen write, and then what I can do is I can start to draw on the screen. So on the top here, you can pick a pen that you want. I can pick any kind of pen that I please, uh, any color that I please. Let's just keep it red. And then what I can say is I can say something like this, X. I can just say, meet me right here. When I'm ready, I simply, I can also crop this by the way. So if I, I don't want to show them the, the entire thing, I can just go like that. There's the map. And then again, I can tap this here and I can share that with my friend so he knows or she knows exactly where to meet me at. Now this is just one way to take a screenshot, annotate stuff and send it to other people. Uh, it just makes you more productive overall, okay? So that's how I use Smart Select, but remember Smart Select also is a screen capture utility. So if you just uh, wanna screen capture something, you just tap this and you just save it on the spot and that's gonna save a screenshot of the thing you were looking at. You don't always have to draw on the on the actual screen. All right, so the next thing I like to do with the S Pen is called direct pen input. Let me show you what that means. So let me just, uh, as an example, I'll just use Chrome, but you can use this anywhere where you can enter text, in a note application, uh, in your messages application, or as I'm about to do when you're typing in an address on your web browser. So what you have to do is you have to hover your pen over, this, over the area where you can write and then what's gonna happen is that blue icon is gonna pop up. You can click on that blue icon, uh, which brings up a little uh, environment into which you can actually handwrite instead of typing. So let me delete this over here and show you what I'm talking about. So if you delete all this, I can type in www. And then I can say G-O-O-G-L-E. And that's going to type in, that's going to convert my, even the bad handwriting gets converted precisely. So that's Google and I can type .com and just go over there. So and I, again, I just showed an example on how to do this in the browser. But if I do go up into the messages, I can do the same exact thing. So here's a message that I just pulled up. What I can do is I can hover over here. Again, that little blue icon pops up, you tap on it and boom, you can start writing your message here. It's very fun to do. Uh, even bad handwriting gets translated properly. So I can say something like, hi, um, how, as you can see, that was a very bad handwriting, but it got translated properly. And you can actually write the entire thing in one go. You don't have to, uh, the way I'm doing it, I'm just showing it to you guys, but you can just write, hi, how are you doing today? Uh, with your handwriting, and it's going to convert the whole thing. You can use a comma, you can use a full stop, you can use a question mark. All that stuff uh, gets translated properly. All right, so that's the next thing I use. Let's talk about my final tip. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention is you do have to actually enable this direct pen input option. Uh, just go to the settings, uh, go to advanced features, go to S Pen, and make sure the direct pen input is in fact enabled. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to see that blue icon that pops up for you to be able to do handwriting. All right, let's talk about the next thing. The next thing is actually something very simple, but it's very useful. Occasionally, I turn off this thing right here. So this basically is just a little icon that allows you to access air command without having to hover and press on the screen, like not on the screen, but you, ho you can cr uh, hover close to the screen and press the button and that usually brings up the air command no problem. But you do have the option to have this hovering icon anywhere on the screen uh, for convenience. Uh, you can tap this and brings, it also brings up the air command menu. So what you can do, so what you wanna do is you wanna go to the settings, uh, go to uh, advanced features, tap on S Pen again, and enable this thing right here. It's called the floating icon. So you can disable it, or if you'd like to have it, if you use air command all the time, uh, it might be more convenient for you to just tap on that little icon. It's right there. And you can put it anywhere on the screen. And of course, as you observe, as, at any time, you can grab this thing, uh, it's right here, and you can just remove it from the screen. It's gone, okay? So just an option you have. Now, as long as this option is enabled, every single time you launch the air command, so right now, floating icon is enabled in the settings. So if I bring up the air command with pre by pressing the button, that button will uh, be re retained on the screen. You can still use it. You can put it away as you please, okay? Just so you know. 
If you disable it, it never shows up, but if it is enabled, as I just did, and if you press and bring it, it's going to stay on the screen once you're done with your error command functions. All right, that was the final tip, guys. I'm also gonna drop a link to a complete S Pen coverage video in the description box below. If you're new to the Galaxy Note 8 and want to learn more about the S Pen, there's more things you can do, much more in fact, uh, but there's gonna be a video in the description box below if you want to learn more. But these are the things I use on a daily basis. So that brings us to the end of this video. I do hope you learn some new tactics to enhance your ownership. And again, if you want this awesome Samsung brand case that I use every day, see the link in the description box below. So make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech. And also, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, follow me on one or all at Saki Tech Online. Guys, have a fantastic day.